in this video, I want to talk about a really important safety little tool that you can use at home if you find yourself in the same life stage as many of us where you're becoming a caregiver to some people in your life or to someone who works as a caregiver. It's called a transfer belt. You can find them online for $10, $15. It's a very simple mechanism that allows you to have better control of the patient when you transfer them. So I'm going to have Steve just move his arm out of the way and I'm going to put the belt on. And it has a very simple buckle mechanism. Whoops, I'm going to do it the right way. And so the way you tighten the belt, it needs to be just tight enough so that it doesn't slide up when you lift the patient, but not so tight that you cannot get your hands underneath it. And so this is going to be about right. There are two ways in which you can use the belt with your grip. You can have either the two hands underneath method or one hand on top and one hand on the bottom. And they give you a little um, slightly different control over the patient. Okay. So I'm going to have Steve relax. So Steve is going to be my mock patient. He and I have a 50 pound difference. So it's really important that I have a way to safely transfer him and not let him pull me forward and rip my low back disc or my shoulder, which, is, which are the two most common injuries that we tend to see among caregivers. So, okay, Steve, on a count of three with me, go ahead, stand up. So right now I'm really close to Steve. And when I transfer him, I'm going to crab walk with him, which gives me a lot of safe controls. Not very pretty, but it's very safe. So go ahead, take a couple steps. Good. So if now Steve starts feeling faint and he starts dropping, I can hold him even though he's heavier than me. And we're not going to topple over. We're going to slowly get down to the ground together. So encourage all of you who may find yourself in that situation to get one of those little tools. 